So my god, okay. First of all, you're probably wondering, Nims, why is your arm red? I was trying to look at my arm, that's why we went down like this, but then it's like, oh, my arm just comes with me. Dang it, I wish I could pull this thing off and look at it. But my arm is red because we have changed our skin. Now, this might not be easy to tell what it is at first, but it's a phoenix skin. And why? Because I am a phoenix. I'm a bird of fire. I will, if you kill me, I will just be reborn out of the ashes. But no, for real. Um, I don't know. I, I've kind of, I like phoenixes, and they're freaking awesome, and I want a skin that I really like, that I think is awesome, and so, uh, we were just using some random skin before, but now we have the phoenix skin, and this will probably be the skin I retire from Minecraft using, if I ever retire from Minecraft, if retiring from Minecraft is a thing. So anyways, um, yeah. And then, what was the next thing I wanted to show? Oh, yo, 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 yeah. That's why I was starting the episode right here. Is we have the treasure hunt, right? This is treasure hunt book one. For those of you that don't know, it's like a little scavenger hunt we do here inside Nimbus. It's quite fun. Um, it has been updated. So, I think this is episode 69. So, next episode, you'll be able to try out all those new updates. So, I don't know. I'm building anxiety. I'm building the tension. Uh, for you wanting to do g -g 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 new good stuffs. I can't even look at what it is. Oh, Silk Touch, not too bad. Yeah, that's right, book disappeared. Silk Touch is pretty good. We'll put that one in there. All right, let us begin. Have you seen Jackie Chan Adventures? Because one more, Dean. That's what Uncle says. I'm probably showing my age right here. It was a 90s cartoon, okay? And there was an old guy, and he's always like, One more, ding! I don't know, just YouTube it, believe me. So, I fixed uh, the gate from being able to open to the outside. I'm not 100% satisfied with it, because I had to add some piston and some redstone blocks, and it's kind of obvious, but... It opens from the outside now, oh my gosh. So, whenever you come to play on Nimbus, uh, another update so you can get back inside the castle whenever you get locked out okay for reals now let's go get started and actually i needed to be out there because we've got some works to do on the zombie pig gold farm okay so we are back in the zombie pig area the soon to be zombie pig gold farm and uh off camera i dug a hole the 25 blocks down remember we decided that it would take 25 blocks last episode and uh, that's a long way, so I think we've got a nice little alternative here of what we're going to do. So the first thing that I need to do is get back down there. Oh god, I'm not going to be able to get back up. Um, well, fee fi fo fiddly fum Well, okay, we'll just do this. Okay, so my legs are at 52, so we need to get down to 27. So I'm going to start digging... And we're gonna, I'll meet you at 27 blocks, and I don't want to fall in lava. So this is a trick here. If you dig two blocks out at a time, you won't fall if, uh, like, one of them turns into gravel or something like that. Oh, I guess I should be checking to make sure that we stop it. 27? It was, oh, God. Oh, this is fine. I can fall this. Bam. Peachy. Oh, man, this is a whole bunch of... Oh, zombie! I'll kill you. I got a sword of fire. I lit you up, brah. I lit you up. You dead. You dead. Okay, so where's that hole? So we're there, and we're at 31. Hey, now. I hear you. Gold! 28, 27. Thanks to the gold. Zombie. Zombie, we haven't gone caving in a while. We should probably do that. Oh, the full diamond or gold armor zombie. Oh, he dropped Is that a creeper man? There just be baddies everywhere oh, Shoot he dropped broken gold boots. I don't want your meat get your meat out of here. Okay. Okay So now that we've got to whore dug out. I guess I should oh I know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be easy. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so we've got our TNT. And so I am going to... Yeah, that was 27. Yes, we're at 28 now. So that's 27. So, here we go. Here we go. Bam. 
explosion block because we're going to try to make this as easy as we possibly can. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend the next like eight hours digging this all out. So I'm not really doing this in any particular fashion. Just kind of we'll go like every three blocks or something or every four. I think that's what that was. Looks in, looking good so far, guys. Awesome job. Awesome job. Yeah, that'll probably blow up the... Okay, do we want to do the explosion from the top or from the bottom? We'll do it from the top so we can look down as it goes down and kills all those baddies that are below us. Okay, here we go. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh, I almost fell in. And explosion! Explosion! Yeah! Well done. That didn't make as big of a hole as I was hoping. How many more TNTs we got? Okay, let's get this ready and do this one more again. Alright, so I've got another zompig, I don't know, poop shoot? Because they're going to be spawning and then... Ah, it's alright. I don't know what to call these. <laughs> that was a terrible name for them. I've got another one loaded up with TNT. Let's go ahead and light this baby off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It didn't fall like the last one did. Oh, God. No. Oh, dear goodness. Oh, my God. One heart. One. We're fine. We're fine. We got this. That TNT would have only have destroyed all of our armor. Well, not all of our armor, but all of our swords. And we're good. I've got meat. We're fine. <sighs> that was a lovely explosion. Great job, Nims. Good job. <laughs> okay. Where's a way that I can get back up? Well, at least it's getting dug out. I guess that's the important thing, right? Okay, three and a half hearts, jump. Okay, good job, Phoenix. See, it wouldn't matter if we died. We'd just be reborn, and we'd be awesome. We'd be out of the fire, out of the ashes. It would be... We'd be fine. Oh, apparently I don't know how to dig a staircase upwards. Oh, okay. Gotta get back up there, man. And it's way easier doing this, because I'm clearing blocks that need to be cleared. Okay, so I've got the underside of this a little bit dug out. And you can see our holes are actually helping quite a bit. So I'm pretty happy. But the sad thing is now is we're completely out of gunpowder. There's, I have no more. Like, literally, these four TNT blocks is it. Unless I have something stored away that I've forgotten about. Which, to be completely honest, is highly likely. That That is very possible that I've stuck something in some hole somewhere and then forgot about it. Or left it or I, I don't even know but anyway we've got a cavern to dig out we've got all the way to uh, block level 27 and we're at 46 oh my gosh well let's see we can we'll blow that up right there that looks like a good spot of something to blow up got all my health back and blow it up in front of me yeah, there we go. That's much better. I just saved this. That was pretty good. Okay, let's do it again over here. It's fun. I like this. Gonna blow up some walls with some TNT. Gonna kill some zombies with some TNT. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one, like, planted in here. My dog, in real life, just came up right next to me and burped on me. Thank you for that, bud. I appreciate that. Oh, is that a creeper? Hey, creeper, why don't you explode? Help us out. Okay. He's going to blow up, and then we're going to be good. Boom. Yeah. That's a nice That's a nice little hole there. Thank you for your help, TNT. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's good. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Block. You saved my life. Okay, can we jump it? Parkour. Yeah. Phoenixes don't die, man. Come on. All right. I've got a lot to do. This is probably... We've got one more TNT, actually. Let's see. Where can we blow something up? I think we'll save it for when we get lower, because this is all pretty cleared. I finally made it a little bit further down, and this creeper is stalking us now. He is desperately trying to figure out how to come up behind us and blow us up. 
I'm not falling for your game. How are you doing that? No. How did... did I, I, I'm, okay. Okay. Apparently he won. He beat us at our own game. <sighs> creeper, 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 man. Creeper, creeper, creeper. But it's going well. I'm at, like, block level 30-ish. And still just hacking away. Blocks going bye-bye. Yeah, just nothing really new happening. Just breaking some blocks. Oh, God! Okay. Is that the bottom? Is this the bottom? This is 26. This is too low. We don't want that. Get out of here, lowness. Oh, wow, this one... It's really too low. Oh, it's so dark down here. Okay, where's 27? Oh, we're on it. Ha-ha! We'll start lighting this up so that way we we know where the stopping point is. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to dig way more than I have to. Have you ever been working on a project and just accidentally completely overshot the thing and then had to go back and because you weren't paying attention you had to add like way more work into it than you were originally expected i think this is the wall yeah that's definitely the wall okay i don't know i've done that a couple times i just want to do out of curiosity while we're on the subject of projects what is your favorite project that we've done in uh in nimbus so far is it like the zompig farm that we've done or is it like the i don't know like the iron golem farm is it uh the enchanting oh okay, you okay i thought that was a creeper i'm cool if you're a spider because i'll just slice you i need your eyes though because they're pretty valuable what is this Oh, it's just a dead end. I was like, oh, maybe a dead end? I'm getting distracted. Must go back. I was hoping there'd be diamonds, though. How cool would that have been? Pretty cool is the answer there. So anyway, um, yeah, what's been your favorite build we've done so far? I don't know. There's a lot. The bridge, working on the mage tower. Um, let's see, the 3x3 three three spiral door is another one. The castle gate, that one was nice. That one was a long time ago, too. Uh, what else could it be? What else? The zombie defense system. The ZDS. That's another... Oh, the bat! I hate bats. You... Only phoenixes should be allowed to fly in the skies. Is that... No, this isn't it. Is it? Am I really done on accident? Not even paying attention? This looks like it. Oh my gosh! Sweetness, except this bat's got to die now. Okay, bro. Use be annoying. All right, so let's figure out how to get out of this cave. All right, so I'm back up here. We've dug it all the way out. It looks nice and pretty, and I actually found out that this thing is uh, connected almost just a couple blocks away from the slime farm. It's actually pretty close to stuff that we've already done, which is awesome that means when we uh, go to add the track it's gonna be much much easier but in the meantime I need to fix a couple of things that the TNT broke and uh, stuff like that and I do want to open this up and so if we fall I don't fall to my death because that would kind of suck I would suck quite a lot that would be a long freaking fall too okay so there were three I think that's all I counted that we're missing hold I'm got that shift button down so hard right now man it is i don't know it's like a two ton weight is just sitting on my shift button it's like don't you dare come up we need to stay alive okay um oh so what i want to do now is i want to make sure that these 25 blocks that we've got fallen here is going to be enough just kind of like a redundancy check uh i realized that we already double checked the, or already tested this but i would rather you know, what is this saying there? Measure twice, cut once. I don't know. It's something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and light all these portals because I don't think we're going to need to come back up here. Uh, well, for the rest of this thing being in operation, it's all set up now. Um, bam, bam, bam. This is a... Oh, you know what? We might need to come back in here. I hope we don't. I need to make sure that these portals aren't going to screw up the the main portal that I already have established, the one that we already have that goes to and from the nether. Well, we'll find out, won't we? 
Oh, nope, don't want to go through yet, actually. Let's go ahead and go through and see where this takes us. We'll test it right now, right? So this, almost assuredly, is going to pop us out. Yeah, I, I figured that. That was almost a given. And now, where does this one take us back to? We want to pop out in a field. Yay! Oh, except there's bad guys. Why is it always nighttime? Come at me, bro. Come at me. I see you. You know what? I'm going to shoot you just for the heck of it. Hoogagaga! I want your enchanted But Oh, spider eyes, too! Give me your... Ooh, he really did give me a spider eye. Thanks, buddy. We'll be good friends now, you and I. Where'd all these chickens come from? Oh, I remember. I was throwing chicken eggs. Oh, that's something we can go check. Remember a couple episodes back, we made this, like, uh, pipe for the chicken eggs and stuff? Well, oh my gosh, look at that. The, the chest is full. That's awesome. Oh, let's check the hopper behind it. Oh, that one's full. Oh, that one's full. Oh, that one's full. Oh, that one's full. Oh, wow. Wow. I bet it goes... Yeah. We might slim down the chicken population a little bit. I think we've got more than enough eggs than we'll ever need. I don't know. What What do you think? I think we're pretty good on eggs. I bet. I bet it's full all the way up there. I honestly do. Okay, anyway, let's go check on... Actually, let me see if I can't remember how to get down there from the slime farm. Oh, God! In the water. Yeah. Slime farm. Come here. Okay, so the slime farm goes down that ladder right here, and I believe the bottom of the pigmen farm is just like a hop, skip, and a jump down this hallway. I've only been down here, like, once to light these torches, man. It's been ages. I'm probably already lost. Yeah, sure am. Okay, let's go find out where this thing is. Okay, so I found it. So here's the slime farm. I was going from the top, and it wasn't from the top. It was from the down down below. It was from the bottom. So we just come right here, down this a little ways, and then I always get that turn mixed up. And then it's just like a hop, skip, and a jump. I mean, obviously, we'll terraform this. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Like I said, I always get confused right there. Gotta go the right way. Gotta go the right way. Which way is the right way? I don't remember. Oh, it's this one. There we go. Okay. So now we're there. Ha ha. And so now I'm going to wait for however long this is until the zombie pigman falls. And we can verify that it works. So I've been sitting here for about five minutes. You can see I've got the game paused and you can already see in the background what happened. I did it so quick that there's still the smoke from his body where he fell and died. And uh, there we go, there we have it. We've got the rotten flesh and a golden nugget. That is the first of hopefully, we should get this guy framed because he is the first of many golden nuggets to fall for the sake of pigmen everywhere. I don't know where I was going with this, but anyway. Um, so any, the, re the rest of this is going to be pretty boring. Uh, the floor I'm going to take out. I guess I'm going to go one block further down. And then uh, this entire floor. Hey, zombie! Where'd you come from, brah? That was not cool. Anyway, so this floor we're going to take out and we're going to change it into hoppers. We're just, it's literally going to be a floor of hoppers. There will be nothing in here but hoppers. And then, uh, well, let me let me check the episode length and see if we can squeeze this in. Well, we are, are about to run out of time, but I just thought I would go ahead and show you, like, the, the concept here is, since we know that they can fall, I like I said, I dug this one block down. We were at 27, now we're at 26. Uh, and since we know they die when they hit 27, we'll fill this entire room up with hoppers like this, so that way no matter where they die, um, oops, not what I wanted. So, uh, like say they were to die in uh, one of these corners, right? Just double check and then we got it all made, lined up. Um, so then, like say they were to die here, right? Well then, this would push all the way down to this one, as you can see here by the little tails on them. And then this one we'll have set up, and then we'll have like a minecart system that's going to come underneath this block. And then, uh, 
Actually, we could probably do this a bit differently now that I think about it to make this even more efficient. Instead of putting these all sideways to have them feed downward, uh, what if we put them all downwards with the exception of like a middle area like this? So that way we can make a big old freaking loop. Okay, so there's four and then there, oh, not what I wanted. And so then you'll be down. Yeah, I like this idea way better because this is going to ensure that we get maximum pickup times. And then immediately below these, so you can see how these are all facing downwards. What we'll do is we'll go one block below these and then put a, a minecart track. And so then the minecart track will come, it'll come like up and around through here. It'll spin around like this and then it'll come back around like this and then go off to where it needs to so it'll be, be like a big loop-de-loop -loop or a big circle so that way uh, and then right here since this isn't going to be connected we'll have all these pushing out to the side like that uh, so that way like as the mine cart comes through it'll get the biggest load possible before returning back to the base so hopefully that'll keep the mine cart filled up because you kind of know how like we've got the blacksmith right now and the mine cart only makes one pass uh, past the chest for fuel and then goes out to like eight different uh, like hoppers that then feed into the furnaces well this one's going to be a little bit opposite of that it's there's only going to be a couple of chests or with a blacksmith analogy a couple of furnaces but there's going to be a lot of chests for it to pick up past and these are the metaphorical chests so we're gonna put some track underneath that and it's going to come around and feed us uh, infinite gold and I really wish that a zombie pigman would have spawned while I was off on that speech tangent thing but I did not get lucky enough. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to head out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Do all that social media stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that. My name is Nims. I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.